Okay, it looks like we're back, everybody, and we're ready for our third card in card class, and we're going to do our favorite layout here. Again, cats and dogs, and we're going to grab some cats and dogs from the um, Playful Pets Designer Series paper. It's on sale this month in October, and it has some really cute and clever little cats and dogs. And today because everybody else uh, chose dogs so we'll just make my samples with cats and two of the um, dies from the stamp set cut out uh, cats and dogs from the designer series paper and that's what I gave you in your kits but I also threw in some extra little bits here so like some of you might have gotten the angry cat and you can just fussy cut him with your paper snips so there are lots of cats and dogs on the paper to cut out. And then we're using these fun background sheets as well. So let me see. We've got soft suede for our card base here. And then we've got um, a real red mat. And then we'll grab this uh, background paper. And on the back it has some cat words. And the dog one has dog words. So this one says paw, jump, love, meow, purr, snooze, yawn. So you can use either either side of that paper. Um, yeah, let's be different and use that one since my samples, which I can't seem to find right now, um, used the other ones. So where did they go? I do not know. But here they are on the, the paper. So I used those backgrounds for the samples. So we're going to use this one. But first I'm going to stamp my sentiment and I'm using I hope your day is a real treat from Pampered Pets. But again, you could use any uh, any larger sentiment that you have on hand that would fit that little um, shape. So maybe a birthday, a birthday sentiment would be fun for that one. That would be good. And I'm going to go ahead and this is flirty flamingo cardstock and we'll go ahead and stamp that I hope your day is a real treat and that would be a good birthday card I think birthday sentiment so I could even put happy birthday and in, on the inside too so time to just glue everything together so I guess since I have bigger pieces I'm just gonna go ahead and use my stamp and seal this time so we'll add the real red piece and then oops I'm gonna use use the other side to be different this time and then we'll add uh, maybe we'll use let's see no I think I'll use dimensionals on my cat so we'll just put that down with adhesive and Let's see, I guess I'll use the angry cat, or grumpy cat, grumpy cat that I already cut out. Find some dimensionals and stick that together. And then we'll add him right there down in the corner. So quick and easy layout, and this is a just such a simple layout to use over and over again. So. Just everything is uh, dimensionally um, measured to fit your card, and then a sentiment in the center, and a little, a little something to embellish off to the side. So there's that, our um, easy layout card in cats and dogs. And I also did want to show you the card um, I made yesterday in my Facebook Live. So there is the dog stamped, and I did the mirror image technique in that video. So if you go back to the Facebook page, not this group, but the page, it will, um, you can see the video on how to do that and the, the card posted. So again, there's some of that designer paper in the background and some more of that little, uh, cute little red ribbon. So, um, Oh, here's my cards now that I'm, they were upside down. Okay, so here's the cat and dog cards. The cat that um, cuts out of the paper is this little frightened little cat there, and then the, the cute little, uh, little 
guy there. So there are those cards. And um, let's see. I think we're ready to do the Christmas card class yet. But uh, oh, I was going to tell you, um, the reason why I have a page and a group, which is confusing some people, the page, anybody can see it. It is open for anybody to see, and I post my lunchtime live videos there. But the reason I have a group is because I have special people, which are you, that I want to have access to my classes and to my um, PDF instructions and anything special that's happening um, just for my team members and customers. And groups are private. So this, uh, this group that we're in right now, um, Say It With Color Paper Crafting, is a private group. And you can only put files in groups. So you, I couldn't even post these on my page because there's no option to do that. So um, the ability to make units, which are kind of like class, our classes, and to post files is only in a group. So that's why I have a group and a page. So anyhow, moving on, I'm going to do the Christmas class next, which is my favorite. It's so pretty. So I'm signing off here, and I'll move all this out and get the Christmas uh, class ready.